hey greetings peace and love everyone so i just want to take a few minutes um to just express a thought and this thought is surrounded or centered around uh mediocrity being linked with fear now i'm going to share just an experience or two that i've encountered and one deals with um a male and female encounter okay so with this encounter there was a there was a brother who was attracted to me and um, he let it be known um, I wasn't attracted to him there was potentially there um, that maybe one day I could be attracted to but I had to get to know him so in this stage of getting to know him um, I just saw he had a lot of inconsistencies and um, the way he moved as far as conducting himself was not in the manner that I wanted my mate to move in. It wasn't as honorable or respectful as I would want my mate to be. So, um, glitter on my face. So for that reason, you know, I figured it wouldn't be the best choice. Now, in the process, um, you know, this person found a mate and then, you know, they were excited to tell me about it. But um, they were really excited, not only because they were happy, but it was like a, you know, it, it was kind of like a spiritual attack, you know, they wanted me to feel a way about it, but I did it because I wasn't like attracted to the person, you know, I appreciate them, but, you know, it wasn't like anything developed, there wasn't any attachment or anything of that nature, so um, their reason or connecting with the person that they connected to, you know, they presented me with this idea stating that, you know, certain things should just be natural and it should go with the flow. You know, this person that they, you know, chose didn't show any resistance towards it. And I just thought, well, you know, just because someone shows resistance, um, doesn't mean that they're not the person for you or that doesn't mean that they are the person for you and vice versa Just because a person doesn't show any resistance towards you That doesn't mean that they're the person I just means you know, they're not resisting um, So anyway, that was that type of dialogue um, But something in my spirit just told me to stay away from this person because they would try to like send little subliminal sarcastic attacks to me because in all reality they did want me to be that person and that's not where I wanted to be you know so I stayed away um yeah and it's just very interesting because being spiritual you know you're able to pick up on energy and this person is not like blissfully happy and this is why I haven't chosen a mate because that's my energy and I have to find someone that you know is going to allow my bliss to remain as well as you know they have their own bliss you know we share in that space together so this is why i haven't chosen you know anyone as of yet and um you know another thing as i've been studying astrology i've realized that there has to be a level of compatibility you know we're picking up mates we're picking up people to supposedly spend our lives with but you know a lot of people are not even compatible so it doesn't even work out so there's no rush you know we don't have to rush into things um but if it feels right and you think that this person is a person then that is fine so anyway to me the way that i link mediocrity and fear um is basically when people have a fear of being alone people alone people have a fear of not finding someone special and dear to them you know not being able to fulfill uh, an idea in their head or fantasy or whatever and then they rush into things without really thinking sometimes and that could be detrimental to your long-term growth you know and um to your wellness thinking in that mindset you know i think we need to come up with a bracket of ideas that actually work in accordance with our well-being and what's most conducive you know to our growth development happiness um, so um mediocrity trying to stay on task uh, 
another situation occurred that made me think. Um, a lot of times when people are in relationships, you know, the woman may hug the man or the man may hug the woman and not want them to communicate with other people. Fearful that that person is going to leave them or cheat. Like, if you're fearful of that, you shouldn't probably be with that person because there should always be loyalty, trust, and honesty in a relationship. So if you're having those ideas, you know, that's not really good that you got to hold on to somebody where you can't even communicate with other people and that right there is going to stop your growth and development because we're here to interact with each other to learn and gain knowledge from each other and if we're not able to do that we're going to limit and cut you know the amount of growth that we will experience you know for me i don't want anybody's man like that's not the type of woman that i am or i've ever been you know i've had family members that are you know gotten with someone I was with for a very long time and that's them but I don't conduct myself in that manner you know I've always ever since I've been born I've had a lot of pride a lot of prestige a lot of honor and a lot of respect for myself so I would never operate in that manner um yeah so I would say you know sometimes we're rushing we're jumping into things being fearful and it leads to mediocrity because we're not able to express ourselves and our full potential because we're causing or placing blockages in front of us because of our mindset. So in order for you to really expand, in order for you to really grow, you definitely have to detach from certain, you know, mental programming so that you can really tap into your full potential. And in some cases, you may won't even be the one who will is going to bring you that level of enlightenment or growth you know they may be there to support you or maybe they are there to bring that to you i'm not the one to say that but the point is you know not allowing you know yourself to be blocked because you have this notion that um not even a notion just you're fearful that something may go wrong that you're holding on to something like we're here for a minute on this planet you know we have these little human experiences and life goes on then we go on to our next journey or our next mission you know so understand that um i recently thought you know a promise is a, a like a comfort to a fool like many people make promises to each other and then those promises can be broken you know like going to be with you forever but you know we are eternal beings and the next lifetime you may not be with that person and some people do find a way to you know reconnect with someone that they were with in another lifetime or at least that's what i think but the point is let us experience each other let us bring out the best the best out of each other without holding on to fear you know and not, and being afraid to let go, you know, you can't be afraid to let go or to hold on to something so dearly that, you know, you're killing it and you're not allowing it to, pre to, to pretty much live, you know. So I wish everyone well. I just have my system doing things. I'm not going to rush into things with, you know, when you grow older, I'm 35 years old, you do grow wisdom and you learn. Don't rush into things. Like, pay attention. Take time and observe people, you know? Listen to what they say and then listen to what they do. So there's a lot of knowledge in that. You know, I've had, you know, recently brothers that are very popular, very in the forefront, teaching, you know, step up and, and address me uh, in a manner where they wanted to get to know me and things of that nature. But, they're, you know, their teaching is immaculate, but... They're very inconsistent as far as being able to build with a female, you know. And then some people, depending on your school of thought, they have this thought where the female plays a certain role where she is lesser. And um, that's not a situation I'll ever find myself in, you know, because I have so much to offer and bring to the table. And not in a masculine way, you know, I don't mind being submissive, but at the end of the day, you know, I'm not going to, you know, allow abuse, allow neglect or anything 
of that nature as I travel down my path, you know, and become a, a, a stronger whole being, you know. So again, we're only here for a minute, for a minute. Um, if, if you have to block people out because you're fearful of losing them or your partner is trying to uh, invite you to block people out of your life because they're fear of losing you or how you may feel about that person when that person is bringing you growth you know and healing and stuff you gotta really see who has your best interest at heart because for me i want the people around me to grow so we're gonna have to work out a way where you know you have the best or the greatest elements around you to help uplift you you know and if if i'm one of those people great but if you have another source to get it from great but we're gonna have to discuss the logistics you know because if we set certain laws and emotions within our relationship depending on who we are then we have to honor that you know honor has to be a part of the relationship but you know it's not for me to block someone off from educating themselves or learning or growing or experiencing something or trying something new you know or building you know so that is just my my thought for this morning um back to work love and light peace and blessings Unica.